Hey, welcome back. Today we got a hobby box of uh, Series Two 2022 Topps baseball. So uh, let's uh, let's crack this bad boy open and uh, see what we can get. Uh, this is my first uh, hobby box that uh, I am opening for baseball. Uh, so we'll. Uh, see what we can get uh, put this off to the side of course we have uh, the silver pack we'll save that for last and uh, what do we got 20 24 packs I think no 12 packs was it 24 packs 14 cards uh, let's uh, let's get to, let's get into this we're gonna go pretty quick got a lot of cards so and most of uh, everybody watching has already seen uh, the base card so I'm not gonna take up too much time we'll sleep we'll put the rookies on the side sleep but I'm up later but uh, again looking for short prints autographs um, I think they said there is uh, one autograph per box so we got a Mike uh, Piazza 87 there um, Okay and Like I said, we're gonna go pretty quick through these uh, Yeah, so I think it said yeah, it says one uh, one autograph or relic per uh, per box so hopefully uh, Hopefully ours will contain a uh, uh, autograph and not a relic. Okay, and these I will go back through and uh, um, check the check the numbers on the back to see if any. Cause like that pack, I didn't see anything. Nothing jumped out at me right away, but there could have been a short print in there. We got a little bit of color coming up. Oh, I'm not gonna. We can all read upside down. I don't know why they they always wanna flip uh, flip the stuff around. Okay, we got sweet shades. Um, not not terrible looking um, we'll just throw that into a uh, sleeve maybe if I can see it so, okay just got done watching the Cubs game uh, talking about uh, possibly uh, losing a couple players but uh, Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get uh, some good stuff in return. Again, most of this is just base, so I'm not too worried about it. Here we go. We got a got sweet shades, and then we got a rainbow or silver um, parallel. Rookie. Go ahead and throw him up. Juan Soto, uh, Sweet Shades. Be interesting to see how long he is uh, with the Nationals. I know he's uh, a lot of, a lot of player or a lot of teams are going after him um, before the trade deadline. So. Okay, got a, oh, Dave Bodie. Got a couple Cubs players. I guess I'll flip this around. I don't know why they keep uh, doing that. Alec Mills. 
Okay, we got a pick the game, Alex Brigman. Uh, hopefully he's not on the DL. I pulled one from another set, and uh, the guy's been out the whole season, so I don't know what ha I don't know how that works with. Uh, now we got a Nick Magico uh, future stars for the collection, and uh, but yeah, so now that's the second one of those I pulled. The first one is basically I guess useless because if he's not playing, you can't pick uh, can't pick where he's going to hit a home run. Okay, another another rainbow. I'm not I I'm not too familiar with what they're calling it. I don't know if it's silver rainbow or what parallel or um, that they're going with those. Got a Paul Goldschmidt uh, in the '87. And let me take a second to my discard pile over here is getting a little out of control. Let me move some stuff out of the way. Doing pretty good with the uh, PC pile right now. Some some new Cubs cards. Uh, this one feels thick. Feels like there might be the relic in there. I don't know. This one feels thick though too. I mean, I know you're supposed to get an autograph and a re autograph or relic per box, but I mean, it's not it's not that uh, you can't you can get more than one. Come on, focus. Again, these are all base cards. I keep putting them upside down. They usually do a pretty good job of flipping uh, the card backwards if it's uh, if it's a short print or not. Uh, but again, I'll go through these afterwards. Um, Come on, focus. There we go. Future star. Again, you know, they put on aggravation. Nothing earth shattering in that one. And who knows? Might be uh, we might just have an unlucky uh, hobby box, but again, we're just gonna go through. And like I said, uh, I got the Cubs. We'll add that over there. trying to get used to uh, this new camera angle that I've been running with. Okay, got a uh, statistics one, uh, DeGrom. First one of those.
Come on, zoom in. Okay. Man, this has not been uh, not too much to get excited about. O'Neill Cruz rookie. Okay, Perez All-Star, 87 format. Yeah, not. Santa's a, unfortunately not a great uh, Uh, right, here we go. We got a numbered card right behind this Schwindel uh, for the collection. So we got, let's see, uh, 257 of 300. So, okay. I don't know if, uh, I'm not sure of the, uh, the, I'm not sure what the base code is for this one. Uh, I'll have to double check that. But uh, Dane Dunning, 257 of 300. So we'll put that uh, up there. Might be a short print. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see where the dust settles after the trade deadline coming up here. And uh, like I said, I know I know the Cubs are going to be definitely be sellers. Uh, they're sitting like 13. Okay, we got a Wade Boggs uh, as a die cut. Uh, Pretty cool, interesting looking. And more base, okay. Well, let's go ahead and open this one and see what was in it. But a couple of these have felt like the same thing, so I don't think there's, I just think there's just a lot of cards. Wish they'd stop flipping them. Okay. Yeah, it's actually uh, nothing I could see with the naked eye, except for uh, other than these cards being severely uh, chopped. I mean, look at the. Look at the top of that, all that, uh, there should be a lot more space, uh, uh, up there. So the centering would, that, you know, that looks about normal. And then those are butchered. Huh. Don't like to see those in the packs. Uh, luckily, uh, luckily they weren't any cards that you'd want to send in for grading. Because that would, uh, really, uh, severely hamper your chances of getting a 10. They'll probably laugh at you for sending it in. But yeah, see there's another Dunning but it's just the same picture as that one so I don't know why that one gets a number and that one doesn't. I don't know. I don't ask questions. 
I'm not going to flip these over unless we come across something good. I know he's on the, the uh, recent report said that they're looking to get rid of him, uh, Andrew Benintendi, 87 uh, format card there. Um, wow, it's uh, not, uh, not been a huge uh, box for us right now, but But you never know, we got uh, still a handful of packs left that things can turn around. Um, uh, Dykeman for the Cubs. Uh, there we go, we got a Frank Thomas All Star 87 format. And uh, still looking for our relic or autograph and we got something coming up in here and then I'm gonna have to move this uh, base pile here in a second because it's uh, starting to uh... okay Nico Horner Okay, here's what I saw. So we got uh, Shane Bieber, Generation Now, for the Guardians. Um, interesting. But let me, uh, let me move this discard pile, or the base pile, out of the way. Starting to, don't need a card avalanche. Okay, looks like we got uh, four, six, so there's six left, so this is, so, again, still looking for that autograph or relic. Let me know, uh, you know, in the comments, uh, have you got anything good out of these, out of these uh, hobby boxes, the Series 2 hobby boxes? Uh, like I said, this is the first one I'm opening, so... Uh, Oh, what do we got here? Congratulations, a Frank Thomas replica card. Okay, got the patch, so that would be the uh, that would be the relic. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, 1987 Topps All Star baseball relic card, series two. So, pretty cool. Let me. Uh, let me drop this in a sleeve, and uh, we'll uh, throw it uh, in, a, in a sleeve here. Looks like it'll fit perfectly. Oh, is it gonna come up? There we go. Got a couple little bigger. Uh, Okay, so that's probably going to be the relic card, but, uh, you know, interesting to see something out of, uh, even though it's the wrong Chicago team. But, uh, okay, let's, uh, let's hope for maybe, uh, another hit or something. Another good hit. Like I said, I know it says you get one or the other but you never know uh ortega from the cubs getting a lot of getting a lot of cubs cards so that's good upton here's another one with a severe uh chop job on the top thank god it was uh upton and not uh that relic card oh here we go i just uh what is this uh oh um so I don't know if it'll show up. Hopefully it'll zoom in. Let me see if it'll zoom. Come on. So the Topps logo here is different. It's uh, a throwback or uh, um, so 
that is one of the one of the other different things in here uh, I can't remember what it is called but yeah that uh, that different logo because um, here you'll see in the series that how that the tops logo is different so uh, definitely gonna have to uh, um, keep an eye I um, I didn't notice it in any of the other ones but you never know it could it could be uh, uh, set you know they change these things around and you're not looking uh, for uh, that particular thing and so okay looks like we got uh, maybe a foil card coming up Okay, I got the Guardians uh, celebrating. And then we got a No Hit Club card. So, uh, yeah, okay, April 21st, 2018, No Hit. Okay, I'll throw that in a sleeve too right away. Okay, and more base. Definitely going to have a lot of base uh, to go through. Okay, three packs left. Okay, MVP meets rookie. So we got Franco. Uh, is, that, uh, is that Harper? I can't tell. We'll sleep that up. Um, Bryce meets up with the Generation Jung Phenom, giving them guidance. And I see they uh, uh, they left off a T in meets, but uh, well, interesting. I don't think that adds value to the card. They're probably all like that. Just didn't get uh, looked at very well before it was printed. Okay, I got a Javi Baez. Uh, now this is turned around, and uh, we'll see what. Uh, oh, Shane Bays. I don't. I don't know why I said Javi Baez. I'm an idiot. But, uh, this may be a short print. Uh, I'm gonna have to look. Uh, so this is 66 on the numbers, and this is 47, yeah, so this will be a short, a non-numbered short print, so uh, let me see if I can zoom in. Um, so, oh, come on, you're going to focus, focus. So the last numbers here say 66, and then if you look on a regular base card, it says, uh, come on, focus focus you can do it it says 47 so 47 is the base number and then uh, so 66 would be a short print 66 uh, would be a short print so uh, so okay so we got uh, officially got one of the first short prints that uh, I've uh, I've not caught any of the other stuff I've opened but uh, pretty cool uh, I'm not sure if there's some short prints that are numbered and some are not, but man, and I got a lot of cards that have been, that, that the tops have been just chopped off. Uh, quite uh, disappointing. Okay, we got Trace Thompson for the Cubs. Um, you know, when you're spending decent money, you know, you think they. Oh, I got a clear card. I got a clear card. Out of out of ten, uh, Brandon Woodruff, number three of ten. It's a clear card. Holy cow! This is uh, this is pretty cool. It's one of my uh, first uh, 
clear cards that I've ever I've ever pulled. Uh, that is uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, and then three of ten. That uh, again, see guys how uh, how quickly uh, it can turn around. Uh, you know. Um, that is, uh, well, I mean, you can see right through it, uh, I mean, since it's a clear card, but, uh, wow, that's, uh, first one of those, that is awesome, um, and again, you know, uh, down to, this was the second from the last pack, and, uh, uh, we pull that three of ten clear card, uh, that is just, that, that is awesome, uh, so, okay, last pack, um, and, uh, see what, uh, what we end up, you know, with, maybe, uh, maybe that, unfortunately, should have been the last, uh, last, uh, pack, but, uh, and again, we got a lot of these cards that are way, and now, like, this one is short on the bottom, and it has a lot on the top, uh, and I don't like seeing that on the rookie, and again, this one is the same. So hopefully by the middle of the pack where there would be anything good, um, it'll be evened out. Yeah, see, we got a rookie card here, but now it looks like we're now a little high on the top. Uh, man, the centerings on these are, are pretty bad. Uh, but uh, we got Toronto Talent. And we got a... Brandon Crawford, uh, 87 design. Okay, so that is going to do that. It um, was a little longer, but uh, uh, definitely we got the, uh, you know, Frank Thomas uh, relic. Um, so I'm uh, not too disappointed with that. We got the two colors. We got the pinstripe uh, catching the corner there. So that's not that's not terrible, but uh, I think the big pull of the the video was uh, this uh, three of ten Woodruff uh, clear card. Uh, again, first uh, first uh, first card of that uh, I've ever gotten. Uh, go ahead and light up the comment section. Uh, get any clear cards? Uh, you know, uh, give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. And hit the notification button so you know when uh, we post more content. We'll uh, talk to you later. And now we got the... Uh, I forgot all about the special pack. Um, so, uh, sitting on the side. I was so excited about that clear card that uh, completely forgot about this. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got a Wander Franco... 87 tops chrome I'm gonna go ahead and sleeve this up right away that is uh, very cool yeah I was so excited we did the uh, did the uh, that clear poll that uh, I forgot all about the silver pack uh, Hotskins Oh, and here's an autograph. We got a Nick Fortes autograph rookie. Uh, this is the second uh, second Miami uh, uh, autograph I've gotten. I got uh, autograph out of uh, series one, um, and now we got uh, we got in series two we got the Chrome autograph. Very cool. So uh, now. I think we're officially officially done. So we got uh, we got the autograph, we got the clear, we got the Frank Thomas relic, and we got the uh, Wander Franco uh, chrome. Uh, so uh, very cool. This is now officially the end of the video. Uh, give us a thumbs up. Give us a subscribe. Hit the notification, and we'll talk to you later.